Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain two cluster policies which were written inside of Kiverno Boilton language. In the previous videos related in Kiverno and actually in Stacketary Loader, I explained such kind of stuff. But I think if you watch to the previous video, you will you will find in, inside of preconditions how we can get first index from owner references. But I think this cluster policy rules, which I wrote right now, it's more granular and more quick and easy way which we can catch. But actually, with this cluster policy rules on the fly, we will catch change secret or config map change and based on annotations and at the same time based on annotations of deployment stateful set or daemon set actually. So I mean, we will not watch to first index under owner reference secret. And I mean, for both of them, I mean, in secret and config map, one cluster policy rule will be enough to do roll and restart in daemon set, stateful set, or, or deployment itself. So let me switch to the cluster policy rule for each of them, and then I will simulate all stuff which uh, will be more clear to us. So this is config map related cluster policy rule. I will explain it. It says if object will match to the config map. In this case, it will go to mutate under spec template metadata annotations with this key. And on the fly, it will get from admission review, which comes on change config map. Resource version will be set here like as value to this key, uh, which will be defined under spec template metadata annotations. And in this case, our target will be at the same time deployment, daemon set, or stateful set. If our preconditions will map will match for each of them. So actually it is and it means if admission review request operation will be called to update, so it means actually any change inside of config map will be called to update. I mean if even if you will change any label, add label, change annotations, add annotations, it will come like as request operation update. Do that. It's not a good way to analyze only update event. And second one is says if inside of request object metadata annotations will be key, request uh, Kiverno of Solan read with value alone. So what does it mean? It means inside of secret and at the same time config map must be defined this annotation to catch must I analyze this config map or secret or not? If it is defined, it's matched for two of them. And third one is equal fault function. As I said before, inside of secret or config map, if, if we will change anything given on the label or annotations, it will be equal to request operation update and restart can be happened. It's not a good way. Actually, we must analyze any change on the data key. It is right place where it is changed and do that, we must do rolling update. And the equal fault function do compare between old object data key and actually this is new object data key and it is old object data key. If they not equals, it means on the data something changed and we must do do for deployments, demo set and stateful set. In case of if we will look on the target object, actually in this case, of course, we would stateful set in this demo set and in this deployment. In the same namespace where matched name kind comes, I mean, in case of config map, we'll look inside of admission review kind, which comes from admission controller request object metadata namespace, and inside of same namespace, if kind deployment, inside of this deployment must be present under annotations, this K, actually this one, with value allow. The same thing for the daemon set kind and stateful set kind. I will switch to second secret match. Actually, it is nearly the same, only kind secret changed here, but at the same time annotations. In this case, to, to separate them by annotation key, uh, I defined one of them as config map on the line do reload and for secret, secret underline do reload for each of them for mutate our target sign. 
So I even to patch I defined here it is secret version even inside of config map we can find it will be config map version than secret version. Yeah this one. But uh, all this stuff nearly the same. I will not spend time on that. I will switch to config map to, to show what I defined here. So actually as we see on the annotation we have Kiverno Opsolan read with value allo which defined here if inside of config map will be defined this key with this value so it is signal to us to catch this secret change and inside of daemon set we can see we defined and the annotations key do roll out allo as i said before in case of daemon set must present this key with value allo the same thing for deployment the same thing sync for stateful set at the same time just to check it i defined one deployment without annotation for, but uh, for the simulation i will apply it and show you if label will be defined rolling restart will happen to this deployment too of course the same thing for daemon set for inside of secret as you see do roll out defined here too. I mean this one key with value, which same thing with annotation deployment. And without annotation, I've defined here too. For simulation, as I said before, in case of config map, in the secret, I will apply this with the label and we'll see rolling restart will be happen to this deployment too. Same thing for stateful set too. And in case of secret of secret uh, annotation of secret, it is annotation defined here too to catch really this secret must be analyzed uh, to change of under data to do rolling restart which looks to this object so i think that's enough to explanation in the right side i do each one second capsule get pods under check keyword on namespace i will apply all objects to cluster right now So it is applied. I will switch to. We don't need this part. I will close it quickly. Without annotation, and we need. This is under secret, and we need one one under config. So. We don't need this part. Just look at this. I will change or add new key under config map. It doesn't matter. I mean, in any way, deletion line, deletion value, add new key, delete key, all the stuff will be equal inside of request operation, which comes from admission controller. With, uh, with value update. It means any change here will be equal to update event. So I will apply under which one? Config map. Config map. Just look at the right part. As we see, anything defined with the name which starts with config map minus will be restart, but without this deployment, because inside of this deployment, I defined if we will see, yeah, it is secret, it is config map. Annotation not present here. And do that, rolling restart will not be happened here. If I will do change again, to be more clear with more change with the times, this nothing will be happened here because as we see inside of this config map, not defined annotation. But if I will apply label defined and change config map again, all of them will be restarted, which starts with config map minus. As we see, all of them started and 
but now I will switch all of them, which starts with a secret. If I will go to the secret and try to change anything on the data of secret with the name secret DS Demon SS. All will be restarted without secret daemon without annotation because as I said before label not defined here. Even I can check it again, we will see if I will delete it and apply again. All of them will be restarted. I mean which start with the secret because it looks with annotation which defined for the secret. But without this one, if I will go to define annotation for the this deployment, secret deployment without annotation and change secret again. All of them will be restarted. So that's it actually. I will push all code related which I have used here to the Kilomer repository. I hope it will be useful.